But I knew this video had to come out soon because I think it is my place to cover this topic. Now, tonight we're going to be looking at whether workhorse stock is or is not a scam. Spoiler alert, it is not. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this, but I'm going to be talking about this one because after what happened with Nikola, I do think a lot of the reason why a lot of these small companies' stock price is dropping is one of the reasons, you know, attribu attributing to that is simply due to the fact that people think it might be a scam. So tonight we're going to be looking at why this is not the case for this company, and we're going to be analysing the finances. So if you think that this is a bad video and I'm going to be showing some horrible things for Workhorse, it's not. I'm going to be actually reinforcing goodness about the company, so please leave a like instead of a dislike, and try and help us to get to a thousand subscribers by just pressing the subscribe button. Right, so tonight's video basically intends to inform you and reassure you in investing in workhorse stock. So yes, the company might actually have bad news for itself, but not necessarily news that means it's a scam. Whether the company is or is not getting the USPS contract, something which we intend to talk about in just a few days, the company itself is not a scam. Perhaps that contract will also influence you know, the share price, so if the company does not get that, that will be a bad thing, but the company is real. So we're going to be talking about why tonight, because a lot of people just see this as a stock and not necessarily looking at the company behind it. So let's have a quick look. Workhorse Company is basically a small, quote-unquote, last minute last mile delivery company so basically what they do is they make these small little trucks you can see on screen now i'm sure if we press the explore button we'll be able to see that workhorse basically makes smaller size electric vehicles for delivering to people's doors and what we talked about a few months ago is actually the potential for this company to get the usps contract which was obviously with the united states postal service we're going to be talking about that in a future episode but you can see that it's a big company contender for the list so the company trucks are already out you can see in the metal there that they are there however that does not necessarily mean that they are out as we saw with Nikola but I can assure you if you want to just do a little bit of googling yourself go on YouTube type in workhorse truck and I'm sure you'll find a workhorse truck living breathing and just 100% working on the street they are already with a few companies in the United States already and of course this is a market set to grow so on top of this, a notable feature is actually the Horsefly drone. Not going to cover that one too much tonight, but that is of course just a drone for delivery in the future. We've got companies like Amazon, which are already experimenting with this technology and you know, thinking about adapting it into their business model. And of course, it's a lot more efficient than a truck because you don't need to pay for fuel, you don't need to pay drivers, things like that. So it's technically for the business better. So that's just one of the other things that the company is specializing on. So first things first, how can we determine whether this is or is not a scam? Well, one of the main reasons is basically by looking at the amount of vehicles sold. So it looks like this year they have sold over 400 vehicles, according to this article on Bloomberg.com. And yes, those vehicles are actually going out to the public. So yes, if we went out here, you could see probably, hopefully, if it will come out, we'll be able to see some workhorse trucks in the action. I'm not saying that we will, but workhorse stock is not a scam. That's just what this video was here to you know help you on. So what sets this apart from other companies like Nikola and why you should not be worried about it? So yes, the company and the stock might have its own issues regarding the USPS contract, the election in America and things like that. But from a company business standpoint, it's not necessarily anything to be worried about. It's only facing the typical problems which a company in this sector may have. You know, competition, things like that are the factors affecting the stock. But I can assure you the trucks are on the road. This company is not like Nikola where we saw the vehicles coming out soon apparently and then the date got rolled back. This is apparently coming out soon. So for that reason, I would say it is not. And I hope you enjoyed this one. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Make sure to come and join us on Discord. The link will be in the description. Goodbye for now.